All right, so I'm going to teach you how to play everything you need to know as fast as humanly possible. No need to watch a 20 minute video. Um, essentially, there is two things to know, right? You have a deck um, of all these cards. I'm not going to explain what they do in this video. If you want to know what they do, click on them and figure out what they do. There's two different types of cards. Um, some cards uh, are on reveal, which means when you place them, at the end of you placing them and your opponent placing them, they all flip or reveal. Uh, and then those abilities will do that. And then they have ongoing abilities, which are abilities that last for the entire battle. So not just when they're placed, but forever, right? Um, as far as playing is concerned, you're mostly going to play bots until, you know, forever. Um, but essentially, this is how it works. There's three territories or locations. Each location has a unique thing. The first one's unique attribute will be revealed first turn. Uh, after each turn, give cards here plus one power. So very smart to put cards here early. This will be revealed turn two. This will be revealed turn three. Um, as you can see, I have different people with different abilities. Again, I won't explain what they do. But you place your card based on the energy you have down here. This does not carry over. So if you don't place it, you're wasting it. Um, so oftentimes people love Quicksilver, for instance, because if you don't have a champion that costs one power, you can't place anything turn one. All right, so it's turn two. And now the second territory has spawned in the start of turn six swap hands which means my hand will go to my opponent and vice versa this cube don't worry too much about it this is the resources you get for winning if i were to click this it would double i would basically bet double points against my opponent that i would win um so as you see here uh let's just do this this champion um or this character gets plus two power if placed in the middle so instead of placing a two power champion i placed a four power champion in the middle now, as you see here, there's points depending on the power on the right side. So this is the cost and this is the power. Um, whoever is leading in points has the zone, as you see here. So my opponent has the left zone and the right zone. I have the middle zone. After the sixth turn ends, whoever has two zones wins. And if there's a draw, whoever has the total number of points wins. Um, so let's see here. What are we looking at? Um, what is this? When you play a card here, fill this location with copies of it. Okay, so you want to place a strong champion here, I guess. When you play a card here, fill this location with copies of it. So I guess she already placed this, um, but I don't know. Let's just throw this in here for, you know, whatever reason. I've actually never seen this card before, so I don't exactly know how it works, but in theory, it should copy this card three more times, but that's part of the fun of this game is... Once you get, once you start to progress, um, there's so many cards and so many different things that you have no idea what all of them do. Okay, so yes, it placed four of these here. Um, this is bad. I should have waited. I didn't know what this meant. I should have waited to place a high power thing to guarantee that this is a win. So essentially, I've just guaranteed my opponent wins this. So terrible play on my part, but let's be honest. I didn't know what that did. All right um what's this after each turn okay so plus one all right so i have a bunch of champions here uh and we have four energy all of these are the same so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go jessica jones jessica jones is awesome actually i'm gonna put jessica i'll put jessica jones here jessica jones is awesome because if you don't place someone there the next turn she basically doubles in power which is nice so as you see here we're drawn now he's tied so he's winning two zones and I'm getting my butt kicked here. So he snapped, so he's basically confirmed that he's going to kick my ass, which he likely will, um, if we're being 100% honest. There isn't much... Oh, I can't actually place that there because I placed Jessica Jones. All right, so let's do this. I don't know, and this. So I lost, uh, which sucks, um, but at least now you understand how the game works. So... Now there's four cubes. In the last turn, there'll be eight cubes. That's like how you gain rank. It's like if you played a game that involves ELO, you get ELO. And at any point, if you're a pussy, you can press the retreat button and limit the amount of resources that you've lost. Um, all right, let's see what this shakes out as. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so this guy's kicking my butt here. And we switch hands. I just gave him an Iron Man, which is actually atrocious. Um, let's, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible situation. If I'm being a hundred percent honest, this is an atrociously bad situation. All right. So I'm just going to do this. No, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. I screwed myself over, but you know, what can you do?
Actually, I should have placed that there because he can't go any. <laughs> I'm an idiot. If I placed it in the left, I would have guaranteed a win. But actually, I just screwed myself over. Um, well, as you can see, I am terrible at this game. But at least now you understand how the game works. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Hulk smash. Uh, okay. Well, psych. He won this zone. I won these two zones. I guess I'm an idiot, but he's an even bigger idiot. So we won. And then you collect rewards, and you can upgrade characters, but don't really bother too much. Now you know how to play from the worst player in the game.